One Love Tennis presents some tennis history as told by the One Love Tennis Junior Development Team. From Wilmington to Wimbledon and back again. Tennis, as we know it today, was patented in 1874 by a guy in England. That's where they have the All England Club that started Wimbledon in 1877. For many years, tennis was all white. And I'm not just talking about the clothes. Black tennis players weren't allowed to compete because of the color of their skin. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. The black players knew they were good. They formed a tennis association so that all players, no matter what the color of their skin, were able to compete. So the American Tennis Association was born 100 years ago on Thanksgiving Day, 1916. Happy belated birthday, ATA. Happy belated birthday, ATA. One of the best players in the ATA was a man named Hubert Eden. He was from North Carolina. And Hubert became a doctor and got married and started a family right here in Wilmington. He built a tennis court at his house because he was not allowed to play at the all-white courts, even if he wore all-white. In 1946, he had a teenage girl named Althea Gibson come and live with his family. Dr. E taught Althea focus and discipline, just like Coach Lenny does us. She lived at his house in Wilmington for four years and graduated from Williston High School. Dr. E played a big part in making all-white tennis people accept Althea. Althea was the first black person to play in Wimbledon, and guess what? She met the queen and got a ticker tape parade in New York. Althea was on the cover of Sports Illustrated and the Wheaties cereal box. How cool is that? Here's where it gets really cool. There was a little boy who lived near Dr. Eden's house by the name of Lenny. When little Lenny was five years old, he would sneak away from his house and watch Althea get him train and play tennis. His mama didn't like it. She got mad, but he wouldn't stop. Althea must have thought that he was really cute. She even allowed him to use her tennis racket and taught him how to hit a ball. Well, that was that. And that was that. Well, that was that. The little boy went back every day to grow up to be Coach Lenny. And little Coach Lenny was a really, really good tennis player. Through Dr. E, little Lenny met Dr. Whirlwind Johnson. Dr. J formed the first junior development team to help good young black players get better and do well in life. And guess what? Coach Lenny got on the team when he was only nine. He became good friends with Arthur Ashe, who was on the team too. It still wasn't easy for black tennis players in the 1960s, especially in the South, but the team traveled all around to play in ATA tournaments. They had to travel at night because hotels would not let them stay and it was not safe. Arthur Ashe was really, really good, and so was little Lenny. They both went to the US Open and both went to Wimbledon. Coach Lenny pulled a muscle and never played, but Arthur beat a guy named Jimmy Connors and became the first black man to win Wimbledon. That was a big deal. Coach Lenny went on to be the first black man to play world team tennis. The team was the Detroit Loves. The British people at Wimbledon invited Coach Lenny back but not to play tennis. Probably because he's too old to do that anymore. <laughs> but to show the movie about Althea and hang out and have dinner and help them with their black history. Wilmington to Wimbledon. And back again. Basically because of the ATA, Coach Lee started One Love Tennis. Now we have our own One Love Junior development team but only 60 of us out of 460 One Love kids. We had to work hard and prove to Coach Lenny that we were special and should be on the team. Coach Lenny and other volunteers spend time with us on the court. It is helping us be the best tennis players. And we get academic enrichment from really smart teaching volunteers, so we are getting smarter in school. Being on the team is really cool. Coach Lenny teaches us how to be focused and be better people. Oh, by the way, 
The ITA helped other great African-American tennis players, like Katrina Adams, who won lots of tennis all over the world. Katrina Adams says tennis changed her life, and now she is president and CEO of the USTA. The most important tennis job ever. She came here tonight to help Coach Lenny and the One Love Tennis Program. Yes, there's a lot of love in tennis. There's a lot of love in tennis. There's a lot of love in tennis.